All right. Well, after the 4th of July, I think we've all had hamburgers, hot dogs, maybe some steaks on the grill, and it's been fantastic. But today we're going to kind of lighten things up a little bit for the summertime. Danielle yes. Luckadoo is joining us, all Danny's food. Love your blog, by the way. Thank you. So many great recipe ideas, and you keep it simple for some of us yes. that are on time schedules and have lots of kids and... <laughs> you know, all that good stuff. They're right. always hungry, right? Yes, they always yes, want to Yes, they eat. are always hungry. <laughs> yes. And this is something fun because, of course, when we think of the tacos, usually we have the traditional ground beef. Sometimes we get crazy with chicken, but you are making it with fish. We are. We're going to do, it's not really a traditional street fish taco, but close enough for home use, and the kids can help, so yeah. See, that's <laughs> very fun. Okay, so we're starting with the fish. What kind of fish are you yes, using? Yes, so I have tilapia today, but you can use anything you like. Um, cod works really well, and salmon also works really well. I have to say, I love to eat fish tacos, but right. there's just something about it. I I got brave and have done the chicken ones, you right, know. Right, right. But now, like the fish, there's just something kind of intimidating about it. Oh, okay. I don't know why. So fish is most people are intimidated to cook fish, but don't because it's the easiest protein to cook. And this is a good white fish, so yes, it's very mild. Yes, and tilapia is white, very mild, and you can season it with anything, and it will pick up whatever season you put on it. Okay, so where are we starting? So today, I have started to preheat my pan, so it'll be nice and hot, and then I just took, I have two tilapia fillets here straight from the frozen section of the grocery store. Oh, nice. Okay, um, And then you just leave them on the counter for a few minutes, let them get a little bit soft. Um, so to give them that grilled flavor, although they're not grilled, we're just going to put a little bit of dry rub on them. Um, in my dry rub, is just, it's just super easy. It's a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and about half a teaspoon of sugar. I know it sounds strange, but the sweet really works. And that smoked paprika is going to give you your grilled smoky flavor. Mm. So, and then our pan should be pretty hot, so we're just going to lay them in there. Now, Actually, did you oil your I mean, pan? I did not. Okay. I meant to lay them season side down, though. Okay. <laughs> so that while they're in there, we can put a little bit on the other side. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> and that smoked paprika you were saying, that is really when you're cooking a lot and using meats, it's kind of a good little secret to have. Yes, yes. Um, you can use regular paprika, it's fine, but you're not going to get that sweet grilled flavor with regular mm -hmm. paprika. And so. I, when I came in the studio this morning, she had already pre-made a few and I said, that smells so good. <laughs> right, right. Even at 9.30 on a yeah. Monday morning. So while our fish cooks will make um, our white sauce for fish tacos, okay. um, a traditional white sauce would be made with mayonnaise and sour cream. But I've got some plain white Greek yogurt here. Ah, so we're making it a little healthier. Just which a is little nice. bit, yes. Um, so just some plain Greek yogurt, and then just about a teaspoon of dill, and about the same amount of garlic powder. And you really could do that in any amount that you like. <laughs> if you want more. <laughs> if okay. you want more. Um, and then I have about a teaspoon of chili powder here. Ah. Just for a little something extra. And then we'll just do like a pinch of kosher salt. Just a pinch. Just a little. And I love that your sauce is a little <laughs> bit healthier because right. when it comes to something like a fish taco, I like a lot of cream. Yes, in it. yes, me too. So, so I don't have that guilt because. Right, because so there's I'm no guilt with all the mayonnaise and sour cream that you normally would put in a white sauce. But the yogurt gives it a very nice Mediterranean kind of feel. Mm, it smells um, good too. Our okay. stove eye keeps turning off. <laughs> okay, so we've got our fish going. But it is, it's now going. It's, and then it's just a couple minutes on each side. Um, it's very, very easy to overcook fish. You don't want to do that because it'll be tough and yucky. <laughs> so, and that's, I think, when you're first starting out and doing some fish on the stove top, that's yes. like the first thing we all yes, kind of yes. do is we um, overcook our fish because we're nervous. Right. I've done a lot, so. Yeah, and it's okay to have it just a little bit undercooked. Okay. Um, you just, I mean, you know, we eat sushi, so uh -huh. it's... Oh, that is nice. <laughs> so just, it usually just takes three, two or three minutes on each side. Okay, well, we're going to let you continue doing our fish. When we come back, we're going to also add a little slaw to go yes. on top. We're going to plate it up. It's all kinds of good stuff. Hey, check out her blog. She's got lots of great recipes. All Danny's food, and you can find her right there on Facebook.